Um, so, Chris, yeah, who wants to be a millionaire? It's back for uh, it's 12, 12 years in. Mm. Are you still exci- as excited now as you were sort of 12 years ago? Yeah, I love it. I've always said that, um, you know, because people have always ask me for it since about three years down the line, going, oh, you know, you're going to get fed up with it. When are you going to leave and all that? Because I have left a lot of things sort of when people say, oh, it's too early and you should have stayed. And I don't know. I usually tend to move on. No, I love it. I've, I've obviously enjoyed the success of it. I've, I've loved seeing the way it's sort of gone through the roof around the world and all that. But... I just still find it fascinating, and, and, and I just said that I will stop when I get fed up, you know, when I stop enjoying it. And now, I mean, we just finished this last record, and I think because we changed a few things as well, that sort of got me on my toes again. But, I mean, I've really enjoyed it, and I just find it fascinating sitting as opposite complete strangers thinking, well, what? I mean, I'm doing really what you're doing at home as a, as a, as a viewer. It's like, well, what do you actually like? How brave are you? How intelligent are you? How stupid are you? You know, what do you know? How, how much money do you want? How, how much of a risk do you want to take? I mean, people really kind of bare their souls. I mean, people, because it's in this great big close-up as well, and the lights are sort of like down, and they're under a lot of pressure. Um, I just find people fascinating. So now I still, I've, I've really got a buzz doing this last lot, and I, I think that, you know, I'll carry on for a, for a while yet. I mean, when we made some changes for this series, that's really the first thing we've done in, in 12 years. We, we changed minutely the sort of the, the money tree about four years ago. That's the only thing we've ever changed. And we've always talked a lot about, you know, different lifelines, doing this, doing that. But the, but the attitude from Paul Smith, who owns it, was always very much sort of like, listen, it is just huge, this thing. It's doing so well around the world. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, basically. And when this year we sort of sat around after Christmas and we said, you know, maybe we should make some changes. And we'd seen lots of versions. We'd seen an American version where they've changed it and they've gone against the clock. We'd seen lots of different things. And the guys were caught up for it, and it was me, actually. I mean, I was always the one who's normally saying, oh, come on, let's change this, let's do that, let's do that. And, and I was the one for years going, no, 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 leave it alone, leave it alone, people love it as it is, whatever. And I was kind of the one this time, before we came on, saying, oh, I'm not sure, maybe we should leave it alone, maybe we shouldn't tamper with it, you know, because it's quite... It's not hugely drastic, but it's, but it's certainly very different. And we had sort of, you know, office run-throughs and things with, with, with different types of changing, and it's me going... Not sure about that. And then we did some stuff against the clock. And I thought, you know, this is really exciting. And then we did a few in a studio, again, with that contestants and all that. So from being Mr. Sort of, mm, don't know, I was like, yes, this would be great. Be... And it is actually very tense. I and mean, it's much tenser now. What, what we got rid of is people just sitting there staring like rabbits in the headlights going, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer. So, well, do you want to play? I don't know. I don't know my name anymore. So, you know, you've, you've lost that sort of... When you get a great long pause and people are like, oh, my God, oh, the pressure, pressure, pressure. I mean, that can be fantastically exciting. It can also, and more often than not, it is hugely dull because just somebody just won't make their mind up and it's just kind of annoying, you know. We changed the look of it a bit. We sort of tweaked the set a bit. And, I mean, everything is geared to the big bad clock ticking away and all that. Um, we can see the phone of friends for the first time because I've always wondered, well, I wonder what this bloke looks like. He's a bit, of a, you know, a bit of a nerd. And then up comes his picture on the screen. You go, he really is a nerd. Um, we changed that. Um, and we, we brought in this new lifeline. There was a sort of feeling that because it's tougher to get up to 50,000 because you are under pressure and against the clock, there's a sort of feeling that Maybe we should then make it, not easier, but you know, give them more of a sort of balance all the way up to a million if they can get there. So we brought in a fourth lifeline, which, I mean, you don't have to use it. I mean, it's called Switch, and it's, it's, it's one that I've been keen on for a long time, but it's called Switch. And basically what it means is that if at £50,000 you've got 50 grand, you're guaranteed 50 grand, you know, whatever, here we go again for £75,000, whatever. If you don't like the look of the next question, or anyone up to a million, including the million, you can switch it. So you can go, don't like that, I don't know anything about history, Get rid of it. Give me another one. Okay. And the, the ticking clock idea was that perhaps inspired by when you do the phone the friend that often that creates some glorious TV moments. Mm. Maybe it's the horrible person in me, but where the person on the other end of the line is dallying around. I know. When you go, it's thirty seconds. Come on, for God's sake! Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because yeah. um, I mean, it, it is. It, it's not like well, it's about fifteen seconds. We might give you an extra second. It will cut off. And if and if you do not give us an answer in fifteen seconds or thirty seconds a bit later on, you go home with nothing. I mean, that's it. You don't go. Oh well, never mind. You were near enough, so let's give you a grand or what. You don't. You go home with nothing. So, it does. It does. You know, really focus people. And I have to say, I mean, all the contestants we got, because obviously they didn't know when they came in until we explained to them like we changed a few rules. I mean, they didn't know what to expect. So, so we're playing against the clock. But actually, they all seem to get get into it very quickly. And actually all did it, re- I'm not saying they all won lots of money, but they all did that bit really well. They really sort of focused on, oh my God, okay, here we go, focus, focus. 
no more chat, let's play sort of thing, you know.